Hey guys, welcome to Cognitive Connections. I hope you guys are all having a good night. I wanna thank you for the patience with my readings right now and videos coming out. I've had a lot I'm trying to work through right now currently that could be relating with you. Um, you could also be in a time of isolation or you could be more by yourself lately or you're taking time to kind of hermit. Now, I did get called to get another Rebel deck. This isn't tarot, this is just like little sayings. So something is don't force it. Don't force it, allow that stuff to come to you. Someone could also be giving their power away and stuff is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective or leave. So you may be in like a bad head spot it can be really hard to get ourselves out. So if you feel like you're spinning your wheels, you feel a little stuck or you're just in that depressed state where it's really hard to get out of, right now, this is your message to reevaluate. Good things can happen in your life. And if someone is bringing you down, just know that you are not that person. If someone's calling you names, you are not that person. You are kind, smart, intelligent, beautiful, handsome one two three on the clock not everybody's gonna understand you but that's okay not everyone has to understand you when i first started this channel i used to say you know you're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea but you're somebody's treasure and that still rings very true now i got a few channeled messages and there was um, give me one second baby there was some verses I got. Oh, I also am getting this song. So this song could be relating to you. Remember to 202 on the clock, take this into prayer, meditate on it and ask if this is your reading because not every message is going to resonate. There can still be some good information for you in here, but remember to use discernment when it comes to listening to anyone's videos. The internet is full of fluff. So be careful of what you are fluffing on, okay? But I am getting this song over and over, so this could be how someone feels. And two, three, four, you could be seeing one, two, three, 18, 18, 17, 10, 10, stuff like that. That may resonate with you, or five, 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 two, five, two, stuff like that, okay? But I'm getting the song Soulmate by Chain, C-H-A-N-I-N. I would listen to that song. I feel like something is going to be very unexpected that is coming towards you when it comes to a relationship or a recommitment to a relationship. Three on 303 on the clock. Remember to take this into prayer and meditate and ask if that's what's going on with you. I feel like some of you could have been doing pretty good or you could have been in a better headspace and you've just been a little bit down the past few days or the past week things can just be a little more difficult on your mental state right now. Maybe even your health, you could not feel that good. Remember that your body needs rest just as much as exercise and stuff like that. It's very, if some of you are trying to lose weight or something, remember that rest days are important. And on those rest days, that's when you're gonna start seeing the real results. Because if you're constantly working your body and raising your cortisol like that, it's, you're, it's too much stress on you, especially if you're already stressing a lot. And in a recent video, I said something about like, if you're walking all day, it's gonna raise your cortisol. Running does that, not walking. I wanted to correct myself really bad, 404 on the clock. Walking lowers your cortisol. But some channeled stuff I got was someone's lying. There's someone lying to someone else. Remember to please take this into prayer. Not every message is going to resonate. I really need to reiterate that. I'm also getting someone really truly cares about you. This is like a special person or you are a special person to someone. They hold a very soft spot in their heart for you, like a special place in their heart. This person will always have. This could be a new person you recently met where you just touch them, 444 on the clock for some of you. This could be a past person. This could be someone from way back. But someone does hold a very special place in their heart for you. Also, Mercedes, I am getting this could be your ex-husband. 
that they hold a very special place in their heart for you. And my janky toilet went off, my cat just meowed, totally Mercedes, five or five on the clock. But, um, so somebody's lying about something. Someone could even be lying about their feelings. Someone can show you a lot of hate and they're lying about their feelings because they could feel really hurt by you, but they're really attracted to you. Hold on, like personality wise and inner. What baby? Your baby cute, come here. I just show you real fat you. Benny baby, little Benny baby. Wait, wait. Usually he calms down when I do that song. Who's dad? Are you just the cutest? You're so handsome. Isn't he so cute? He's my baby. I'll let you out. And LG, your baby cute too. Let's crack the door. Hi, Peanut. Okay. So also someone's intuition can be on fire right now. You could actually notice how accurate it is. Really listen to it. Like those thoughts that are coming in your head, they are accurate, they're not wrong. So if you're getting a certain person's name a lot and you're having all these feelings about them, whether it's good, bad, anything, your intuition is correct. That is, someone is so accurate with their intuition right now, you really need to listen to it. I just had an experience earlier and I kept getting something and I'm like, nah, that's not happening, it's fine. It was happening, um, like stalking. And I kept seeing their license plate 1788 over and over and over again through my neighborhood. But the more, this could be relevant to you, the more I listened to my intuition telling me to go other ways, that's when I noticed this person was following me and going around my neighborhood. So just, use discernment with that kind of stuff, but the fact I felt like I had to say that I wasn't going to, that could be important for someone and I really hope it's not. But your intuition could be telling you something and it's accurate, but I'm also getting this is in the love department. If you keep getting genuine feelings or like you're praying to God for clarity, whether this is a good idea or not, listen to that internal feeling and that voice 737. I just got some people can think you're downgrading, but you're upgrading spiritually, mentally, physically, financially. Remember that we do go through seasons of isolation and in those seasons of isolation, take advantage of it and grow. Really reflect. I'm also getting someone is drinking too much. You need, I actually wrote that down. Um, someone needs to take care of yourself better. Someone needs to take better care of their health. In 10 years, imagine if you keep living the way you're living now, if this is you drinking, where you'll end up, 818. Nothing good comes out of it. It's gonna ruin your inside, but also it's gonna ruin the outside of you too, and mentally. So if someone is drinking too much, really take a step back and evaluate it. It's gonna be really hard but the first step to getting better is admitting that we have a problem and acknowledging it and being honest about it and being open. You never know who you can help. It could be embarrassing, but it humbles you and it makes you a better person at the end of the day. Take those steps, you know? High five, knuckle punch, you got it. So another thing is you're highly protected. And I got a Bible verse to go along with that, which was pretty cool. Yeah, I keep getting that song. It's like, baby, you're my soulmate. You're my ride or die. I know what you hate, babe, and I know what you like. Girl, I'm all about you. Baby, you're my soulmate, the love of my life. So it's like the love of my life. But first seek in his kingdom and his righteousness and all things will be given to you as well. So when I said you're highly protected, there's this, there's a few, but so do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold my righteous hand and I can do all things through him who gives me strength. 
feel like I have to read this one too. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. I'm also getting like you could really be irritating people's demons right now. People could be projecting at you very, very heavily or I just got dismay. Hold on. It's like someone is so envious or jealous of you. They want to bring you down, say a bunch of things. They could not even know you well and they're throwing out accusations. Remember, the measure you judge someone, that judgment will come back to you in the same measure. So remember to be careful of your reactions and your thoughts because other people will eventually feel that way as well. You have to be careful. Um, you know, you give a lot of love, you are gonna eventually get that love back from people. You could also be attracting like your real twin flame right now. I have been getting that a lot. 11, 11 on the clock when I said that. I really do feel like someone is, they either manifested, you could have given up on this manifestation forever ago, but God's timing is always right. This person could be coming in at the perfect time and usually twin flames, they come together after they both healed a certain amount, one, two, three on the clock, and then they come back together and start healing those parts. Usually twin flames are together and then they split for a period of time and then they can end up back together. Sometimes they never get back together. It was 1144. I'm also getting the Brian Kohlberger case, the Idaho student murdered Mudaba case. Hold on. This is important. Have I not condemned you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Listen to your intuition right now. One, two, three was on the clock again. And then that's important because like I literally got a fortune tonight. Two, two, two on the clock. And this was like after I got home from trying to go out and skate, but that car was like all around. I got some wonton soup. It's delicious. But courage is highly considered the foremost of the virtues, for upon it all others depend. Courage is rightly considered the foremost of the virtues, for upon it all others depend. All other things, like you have to have the courage to at least start. You can be nervous, you can be scared to do something, but if your soul, if your body, if God is calling you to start a project, go on a trip somewhere, move somewhere, give something away. Um, if it's call, if God's calling you towards a person, have the courage to take that first step and reach out or have the courage to start that channel. Remember, it's important to reflect on ourselves and really treat others well because the measure you are judging others will be the measure that you are judged. So be careful of what you are projecting. Three, three, three on the clock. 13. I got like a terrible comment earlier. It was crazy. I was like, one, I don't know this person. Two, bringing up my daughter and everything else. If you've watched the page, you would understand. One, I can't leave here yet. I'm stuck here. Otherwise, I'd be with my daughter. And two, you don't know my financial life or what I do. And if I have to go get coffee in the morning because I can't have it at home, I shouldn't even have to explain this. But once again, be careful of how you're judging others because that can come back multiplied. If you have a kid, I pray no one says the stuff you said to me, but I blocked your stuff from my page, so no negativity here. Anyways. For the Spirit of God gave us, does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. I really am getting this heavy energy right now. It's really important. We can all get this way. I acted out a character this morning as well. I finally reacted to something in my household that I wish I didn't react to. 
but you can just get pushed to a certain point where you finally just dish out what's being dished to you all the time. But that's when you need to take a step back because you'll notice like the more you try to understand others and the more God gives you that peace, one, you're not gonna be judging others. You're gonna feel bad if you do. Like this stuff actually happens. God grants you that inner peace and you'll know that you're growing too when you don't react to certain things anymore or things that used to hurt you don't bother you anymore because you've grown. And you know that those people that are doing stuff to you are doing it from a really hurt pl pr place. That's why it's also important to pray for your enemies. Even if you're full of hatred at the second, in the moment, whatever it may be, reel it back in and just try to remember that person really has to be hurting to react a certain way f for you. That person has to be in a lot of pain. I'm having a hard time speaking right now. I apologize. But you're highly protected. Someone needs to take better care of yourself. Your intuition is on fire. Someone is lying. And another weird channeled message I got, and I got sisters, not sister. It could be a sister, but I got sisters. Like in parentheses, sisters. But someone thinks someone else is attracted to their sisters. It could be sister, but I did get sisters. So if you do have sisters, this could be male, female. I got a thing where like either people are, two people are talking or two people are dating and they think, the one person thinks that the other person is attracted to their sisters. This could even be brothers for some, but I really did like in parentheses get sisters. It was very highlighted. What else? We know that in all good things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. 727 on the clock. Yeah, someone needs to not force something. I'm also getting the so Song of Songs, that thing in the Bible really fast, that story, not Tang, but hold on. I feel like I have to read this and I really don't want to I'm not gonna lie but this could be relating to someone hold on I wonder I don't know why do you sit in the rain as he sees Sorry, my, this is so, this is actually really old. This is from like two or three years ago. And it has like stuff written in the back behind it. So it's like bleeding through the page. Why do you sit in the rain as he sees her from afar? She wonders if his heart breaks even just a little at the thought of her sitting there alone, staring wondrously. Okay, wait, I'm gonna try to read this again. This could be important for someone. Just let me know if this resonates for you too. And also 95 is at the top of the page and 75, 87. Someone could be 25 years old or 57, 58, 87. Why do you sit in the rain as he sees her from afar? She wonders if his heart breaks even just a little at the thought of her sitting there, staring wondrously into nothing, surrounded by the simple distant sound of the rain and the, till 
and the chilling, damp gusts of wind that seemed to blow her away. I don't think it says blow her away. It says something that that's so hard to read. Someone could have seen you sitting in the rain and they felt bad or something like that. I'm not going to be able to squeak that again. Oh, I need a crack. Does anyone else's hamstrings crack when they do this? It feels so good. Someone, I, I'm getting that song really heavily, Soulmate. It's like, she's the one that sees who I really am. Like, someone knows that you would love and accept them. This person could also love and accept you for everything you are. Clean and unclean food. Your diet could be important right now. Do not eat any dustable thing. These are the animals you may eat. The ox, the sheep, the goat, the deer, the gazelle, the roe deer, the wild goat, the ibex, the antelope, and the mountain sheep. You may eat any that has divided hoof that chews the cud. However, of those that chew the cud or have a divided hoof, you may not eat the camel, the rabbit, Although they chew the cud. I don't know what cud is, so you be. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that real fast. I really do recommend picking up the Bible, though, and reading. Your spirit, your soul, craves scripture. That's, like, when you start getting closer to God, your soul craves scripture. Our flesh craves more so entertainment. So at the end of the day, see what you're watching. Is it benefiting you at all? You are loved. You are here for a reason. Stop whining. No one wants to listen to that. Complaining. I don't like that. Some of these can be mean. <laughs> Maybe that's why I stopped getting these little... Yeah, someone could need to apologize. Seriously, just do it. Yeah, I'm just going to throw these out too. Someone needs to get the ugly cry on. Let something go. Your soul will thank you. You need a good cry. 222 two, two on the clock. And forgive, let it go. Shame, regret, and guilt, those are just bull crap. You think someone's lying, you're right. Oh, you think someone's lying, they are. Yeah, I'm probably not going to watch out, something could get ugly. I'm not gonna do these. I don't even feel right doing them, even though they're not tarot. Um, if I will make any like cue cards and stuff, I'll probably just do scripture or do something based around those principles. Um, 303 on the clock. I hope you got something out of this reading. I have a few things I need to do right now. So I hope you guys have a good night. I'm hoping to actually get back on soon and go live. I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight or possibly tomorrow. I just want to get on um, for you guys when I'm in a good headspace so I can give you beneficial stuff. I don't want to get on and just spew nonsense. I also did record a video yesterday. Um, I'll have to rewatch it and see if I should post that, but I am getting right now. It could be important. So I love you guys. I hope you have a good night, and I really want to thank you for your love and support. I don't know how to repay it. I just, you guys have helped me so much get through so many hard things and the genuine love I feel from so many of you. Thank you so much. I wouldn't be here without you. And I love you guys and I really truly thank you for that. I am very grateful for you guys. Have a good night, stay safe, stay blessed. Know that you are loved. I am sending you love. I am sending you prayers every single day, not just at night, all day, babies. I love you. I miss you. I messed up my nails today. Maybe you need to go do your nails. Work on you. Get you done. And I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic weekend. And I hope to see you sooner rather than later.